Hello class, I created this video to help with some additional participation activities. Um, so it says there's a U.S. Census Bureau and they determined that the mean number of children in an American household is 1.86. Polls of 15 households were conducted in a certain city. What is the number of degrees of freedom? So remember that the, the degrees of freedom would be N minus one. So N is our population or our sample population, which is 15. So 15 minus one would be 14. And there we go, 14. So DF or degrees of freedom is 14. So in my little spreadsheet, because I think we're gonna need that at some point, I'll just type in degrees freedom and that was 14, okay? Just taking stock of what we have here. Let's get back. Next, a poll of 15 households had a sample mean of 3.26. So X bar is 3.26. The mean uh, was 1.86. And a sample standard deviation of 2.12. What is the T statistics? All right, so we've had experience with the Z score or the Z statistic. Uh, but in this case, our N is so small, we couldn't use the, the typical Z statistic, so we're gonna use a, a T statistic, okay? So how do we figure out the T statistic? Well, here's the formula, right? T equals X bar minus mu divided by the standard deviation divided by the square root of N. So let's start typing that in the left-hand column here. So I'm gonna just swing this over here and all right, so we have equals, in parentheses, my numerator was x bar minus mu. So x bar would be the 3.26 minus 1.86. All right, so 3.26, whoops, minus 1.86. I think that's what it was. I have a bad memory. Let's check it out. 3.26, sample mean, minus... Uh, population mean 1.86 all right so that part's done all right and we're going to divide this by the um, sample standard deviation which was given to us that was standard deviation of 2.12 so I put in 2.12 and we divide that by the square root of n Right, so I'll use the SQRT function, and my N was 15, and just make sure you have enough parentheses, right? If I have one, two, three open, I need to have one, two, three closed. I press enter. So I'm gonna write, this was my T statistic, and I think that was for a mean of 3.26 children. All right, T-statistic, 3.26, I'm just gonna write kids, okay? So the answer is 2.558. 2.558, check answer, check answer, waiver. Yep, correct, there it is, and here's the calculation. So we're looking good. Part three, what is the probability of finding 15 households all right, uh, with the mean of 3.26 or less, all right? So we, we, we want the probability of 15 uh, households with a sample mean of 3.26 or less, 3.26 or less. So that means it's a left tail. So probability 3.26 or less, right? All right, so how do we do that? So we're gonna use this t.dist function, right? Because that returns the probability, right? So I'm gonna type in equals t.dist, and then it says x, which is the statistic, right? So x is this 2.5576. So I'm just gonna click it and it puts in b7 for me. If you didn't wanna click it, you could actually manually type in 2.557 and so on comma, the degrees of freedom. I think that was N minus one, which is 14. Oh, and actually we wrote that up here, 14. Comma, one for cumulative. You can also type in the word true here. So true or one will work. 
So there's my probability, 0.989, I guess we'll say, right? 0.989. Let's see if we did that correctly. 0 0.989. 0 0.989, let's take a look. I press check, and we get the correct mark, right? So that's the probability that um, X bar is gonna be less than or equal to 3.26, right? The probability is nine point, I'm sorry, 0.989 or 98% really, or 99%. Okay, so now all of a sudden they change the problem, right? The um, sample, instead of having 3.26, it's now 2.72. Right, so it says, what is the test statistic? So we have to recalculate the test statistic. Right, so I'm just gonna change that down here. And instead of 3.26 kids, we wanna change it to 2.72 kids, right? 2.72 kids, right? So that's gonna change this calculation here, right? Instead of doing 3.26 minus 1.86, It's I have to change the 3.26 um, to 2.72. So I wonder if I can copy and paste this. Control C, Control V, and then I'm gonna manually change 3.26 to 2.72. I think everything else was still the same. Uh, let's see, did the standard deviation change? Standard deviation is 2.12, so that's still good. Right, 2.12, and the American, the, the population mean of 1.86 is still the same. Uh, so I can keep this at 1.86. So I think we're good, right? So here's the calculation up here. That's really me just doing this, right? X bar minus mu, that's 2.72 minus 1.86, divided by the standard deviation was given, 2.12, the size is 15, that was given. So we're just doing this calculation here. So let's press enter. I get 1.57. So that's my test statistic, okay? Is that what they're asking for? Yes, what is T? So let's put in 1.571. Check answer. And we get the correct, right? Here's the formula. And then finally, all right, this is tricky now. What is the probability of finding 15 households with a sample mean between 2.72 and 3.26? So we know the probability for 3.26 kids, right? That probability was 0.989. So really we need to do the difference between the probability of 3.26 and the probability of 2.72. So I could manually calculate the probability for 2.72 and then just subtract, right? Or I can kind of do something like this. I could find the probability where it's between, right? So I'm gonna change this to between 2.72 and 3.26. Now you might say, well, how do you do that? We're still going to use this function here, this t.dist, um, but we're going to use it twice. Right, so here are my two test statistics. Let's just kind of highlight that. All right, so if we want the probability between these two t's, right, I'm going to type in equals t.dist, um, and my first one was the 2.5, so I can manually type in 2.558, or I can just click on B7, and it puts it in here for me. Comma, the degrees of freedom was 14, and it's cumulative, so we could either type in one or true. So that's the the 3.26 kids, but we wanna know that the, the probability between 3.26 and 2.7. So we have to subtract and do it again, t.dist. And again, the test statistics, I can manually type in 1.57 or just click it, comma, the degrees of freedom was still 14, comma, 1. And I think when I press enter, 
That should do it. So we're going to type in 0 0.05, let's round that to 8, 0 0.058. So we'll type in 0 0.058, check answer, and there it is, we got the correct. All right, so the probability of finding 15 households with 2.72 kids, somewhere between 2.72 and 3.26 kids is, it's only about 5.8%, right? Almost 6%. All right. So I hope that helps. You know, thank you for watching. Have a great day.